You ask how you can work with the patrol ring. Happy to answer that. We'll also answer why hand gestures or eye control or wristband won't work for work. So let's walk through those seven points and start with how you work at Padroni. We obviously use our ring and the entire desk is a trackpad now. Second, this is a glorified external monitor because this is what I see. I added the screen here obviously afterwards, but that's more or less what I see thanks to those glasses. Because those glasses, they do have displays in here. Third thing, the keyboard. <laughs> we put this keyboard. We don't need this anymore, because when we add a second ring, we can type as we are used to on this thing here. So like, uh, hello world, is like this. It's even easier to type than on this thing here, because the ring always sees your intentions, so where you're moving with your fingers. For example, this is how it looks when I work on my commute. I simply connect the glasses to my smartphone. Let's compare productivity. On the right side, you've got the setup of Padrone. On the left side, the traditional setup with a laptop and an external monitor. Why did I also add the mouse? Because many people don't like their trackpad in the laptop. In any case, the right side gives you a bigger screen. It's obviously more portable and you're as productive as at your desk. What about hand tracking? Well, doing things in air is just not really precise. Besides, your arm will get tired really quickly unless you are unless you're this guy here. The lack of precision of hand tracking also applies to eye tracking and also uh, gets tiring really quickly. But hand tracking and eye tracking are really cool if you do stuff like you do you would do with uh, those remote controls. So simple things like switching the, the channel on your TV, that's fine. But have you ever tried to type an email on this thing here? <laughs> really fun. But also, it reminds me a bit of typing an email on this thing. Yes, I'm really that old. Hand tracking with glasses has even more issues. For example, it will never be reliable. How it works is that you have cameras inside here, the glasses that watch your hand. But how can those cameras up here watch your tips, for example, when your own hand covers the tips? It will never be reliable for productivity stuff. It's probably a noise as this tone or as the sound is cut. Also, detecting the touch of your tips is just not possible with cameras up here. And those wristbands from Star Trek? They look really cool and they might work for casual scrolling or all those simple things you would do on a smartphone, but for productivity? Nope. How do you move your index finger like this, for example? Your brain sends a command back to those muscles here to extend or flex. And the wristband can sense this disturbance into force. Uh, or maybe the wristband just senses the electromagnetic waves created here in the muscle. So the wristband knows when the muscle moves, but it never knows the exact position of your finger. So that might be a problem for moving the cursor. Lots of simplifications here. It's also only about work, so like writing emails or editing an image or coding. It's not about gaming, it's not about the smartphone use cases, it's about work. In any case, let me know what I should explain in more depth.